um, who is uh, Koan, and I hope I pronounced your name correctly, who is the lead product owner for Open Banking Enterprise Integration Technology at um, AMB Umbro. Gosh, that is quite a quite a title. Um, first of all, hello. Hello, thank you. Yeah, and and, uh, we're just uh, combining a lot of topics. So it's the internal integration with open uh, open banking, open APIs, and actually that's also where the story will uh, will be about. So uh, yeah. And and the first thing is, did I pronounce your name correctly, please? Uh, in Dutch, it's Koen Adolfs. Uh, Ooh, I do apologize. Okay, no, apologize okay. to all my Dutch friends, sorry. And yeah. particularly <laughs> to Yolt and YTS, who I work very closely with, because they'll be tuning in um, for the Apathon. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so you have got uh, a presentation. Um, I will just let you sort out your, your slides. And yeah. what we will do, as soon as that is live, and the audience can see that now, is I will bow out and wish you the very, very best of luck and see you in 20 minutes to take some questions. Cool, and uh, my uh, slides are up, right? Your slides are up. Everybody can see the first slide, which says open banking, uh, road to successful models. I'm looking forward to Perfect. it. Perfect, thank you. Because that's okay. exactly where my story is about. And welcome you all uh, to, to this talk. I'm looking forward to share our experiences at ABN EMRO. Uh, as said, on open banking and also the internal view on enterprise integration technology, because uh, we do see that uh, setting a internal API culture is strongly connected to the success that you are uh, gaining uh, externally as well. And uh, what we've seen at uh, ABN Amro, and to first to introduce what uh, what uh, what the bank is about, where the the uh, one of the three big banks in the Netherlands, uh, and these are then the business lines uh, that we are working for. So retail banking, private banking, commercial uh, banking, and corporate and institutional banking. And each of those business lines uh, can develop internal APIs, should develop internal APIs, but of course open APIs uh, should be part of their strategy as well. And that could be a partner API, and I'll, I'll explain the differences later on, or a open API product. Um, yeah, and, and that's what we support. And what we see at ABN Enro is that um, we started with internet banking and launched uh, internet banking in the years uh, of 2000. And of course, this, this is not the version which we launched uh, back then. It was uh, much more toned down. A lot of iterations went over it. And then in 2011, we started to introduce a new uh, digital channel, which was mobile banking. And now um, in 2018, uh, actually our developer portal went live in 2017 already. We introduced a third digital channel. Um, and these channels need to interact, uh, but also have various uh, interactions and uh, characteristics. Um, and APIs support the external consumers, but are also, of course, underneath the internal applications. So the internet banking and mobile banking are also supported by APIs. So this should be one cohesive um, yeah, uh, impression that a customer uh, gets of uh, a bank like AB Number. To get there though, we do see that APIs is quite a journey both on uh, the development of internal APIs and the open APIs, we see that it's about also winning people within the company, eh? starting to believe in what the strengths are of APIs, understand uh, how they should build it and who their users uh, are and what they need from, uh, from their uh, capabilities. Then enabling them both with uh, technology, yeah? so technology platforms like API gateways, but also with stories, consultancy, and API design, and uh, supporting them and supporting the users when an API is actually live. And uh, only when these uh, topics are all in place, we see that teams want to change uh, to develop good internal and open APIs. Uh, but also uh, when, when consumers uh, are, are starting to use those APIs, they need to go through these uh, journeys as well. So also our external users, uh, customers of Airbnb that's starting uh, to consume our APIs, they need to go through this journey as well. 
At ABN AMRO, our purpose is banking for better uh, for generations to come. And our strategy is basically divided in uh, three pillars. So support our clients transition to sustainability, reinvent the customer experience and build a future-proof bank. And of course, APIs are an important topic in the last two pillars of our strategy. Because APIs boost business, they uh, set the capabilities for powerful ecosystems internally with partners and for public solutions. Uh, APIs untangle IT, they create a modular uh, IT landscape. Um, and also in the whole move to uh, DevOps, APIs have a big uh, responsibility to streamline cooperation. It, they you need to create once, reusable by all. It's a one-stop shop, but it also uh, creates clear uh, distinction between what a provider should provide and what a consumer can expect. And in this, we define various types of APIs. So internally, we have enterprise APIs who our own uh, ABN AMRO teams can use to develop our own channels and applications. We consume third-party uh, APIs and provide them to those same teams uh, so they can use them uh, in their capabilities as well. These are integration capabilities. Then for partners where we are uh, developing our services with, we provide partner APIs. Uh, an example is an IBM name check we, which we provide to a partner who is giving us that information back across multiple banks. Then we have service provider APIs like PSA2, a customer API where we uh, actively build API products which our customers can use and public information. With these uh, sets of APIs, we try to service multiple uh, yeah, challenges. So how do you develop mobile ecosystems internally uh, within the bank? How do you uh, help corporates to optimize processes in our own channels, but also through the applications of their own and third party channels? So by providing APIs. How do we work together with FinTech like Tink uh, and Subayo to uh, develop the GIP application? And across multiple banks, how can we work together to um, yeah, do our and share our know your client processes? Dutch banks started to cooperate in that perspective. What we can see, it's all about a, a big change from moving from ecosystem thinking, centralized, all invented inside, owned and closed, to more ecosystem thinking, where it's about distributed innovation, invented anywhere uh, and shared and open. So imagine in that world how fast and easy development could uh, go if interactions would be like get loan, get currency exchange rate, post payment initiation, delete savings target. If we have a good API landscape, innovation will go much faster. The challenge though is that a, a bank uh, is been designed from, from history in this perspective. So you have our capabilities, Around it, uh, there are products and services. Then we developed our channels. And uh, then uh, the ABN AMRO clients were uh, using those applications. But we actually need a different architecture. So an uh, ecosystem architecture requires that you can build on top of your own capabilities, but also on those of third parties, that you provide your own products and services but can also leverage on those of uh, third parties. And that you can sell these uh, services via your own channels, but also, of course, via those of third parties and partners. And this is a different mindset, but also requires a different architecture for a bank. To show you which, uh, what we have accomplished in the last uh, few years, is that we implemented an internal API gateway with an internal uh, developer portal and an external API gateway with an external uh, developer portal so that both our internal developers and internal users can uh, move into the right direction and reuse each other's capabilities and innovate faster. And the same counts for uh, external users so that uh, third parties can help us to innovate.
So our mission at Enterprise Integration Technology and also at Open Banking is to empower teams to build and use great APIs to, in, to together improve banking for our customers. And in this, one important thing, and that's also been shared in presentations previously, is uh, one important thing to remember is that the developer is our new hero and they should be treated as our new customers. So just like uh, you would provide a branch on the street, we developed uh, developer.abnmro.com as our new shop for developers and providing them with uh, new API products, digital products. We have our products, we explain how they uh, can use it, we uh, develop a community to share experiences and showcase uh, the UK the use cases what uh, they have built. And of course, uh, they can ask for support whenever uh, they need it. The commercial APIs that we're then providing is a combination of products which have uh, similar characteristics across them. So it's all about how can we as a bank provide real-time interactions and data for corporates? How can we provide them with real-time access 24-7, 30, uh, 65 days a year? Uh, how can we help them to become more efficient with machine-to-machine -machine processes? Um, how can we reduce the uh, amount of manual tasks and therefore create a bigger security uh, in their processes? How can you connect uh, one uh, application to uh, a lot of uh, others? And how can you help them to become flexible with self-service creating their own applications in that regard? And in the next 10 minutes, I would uh, like to showcase a couple of our products which we've uh, are now providing via our developer portal. And one of them, the first one, is Business Account Insights. And basically, this is a commercial uh, API allowing our corporate uh, customers to receive automated transaction data from their own bank accounts. So they don't need a consent flow, they directly connect uh, their application to their bank accounts. And on the developer portal, there's a business page explaining how to use this product and what they, uh, yeah, what they could build with it. And then one of our uh, recent success cases is Broekhuis. And Broekhuis is a big Dutch uh, car dealer holding, and they are servicing uh, the Netherlands with uh, 13 brands of, of cars. So uh, both for uh, uh, normal consumers, but also for companies, they provide a large set of uh, cars. And a lot of cars in the Netherlands are being sell sold via Brookhuis. And they had uh, workers uh, working in their branches that didn't have insights in when a payment was done. And by providing the business account insight API, now currently, uh, yeah, the, the, the employee could see when a payment was done and uh, that improved a lot of their internal processes. So it's one of the first use, use cases where you see one of our own customers automating their uh, processes internally on top of our APIs. Then another API that I would like to showcase is the Tiki API. And Tiki is basically a Dutch application uh, that uh, allows you to send payment requests. In the Netherlands, uh, let's go Dutch, so split the accounts is a common thing. So whenever I'm in a restaurant, I want and I pay for uh, my friends, uh, people would like to split bills. Um, and we've developed uh, the Tiki application a couple of uh, years ago. And at this point, we are at about 7 million users within the Netherlands. And what they do, they can create a payment request, ask for how much money uh, they would like to get, send it via WhatsApp or another uh, application in the group WhatsApp or to individuals. That individual doesn't need the Tiki application, but can uh, pay via the ideal uh, protocol directly from their browser. And of course, with the Giphy, uh, we um, end the journey with a good 
smile on the face. And this is a journey that a lot of companies want to provide as well, because it's ease of use, it's creating uh, a, a nice payment experience, and uh, a lot of payments were getting in slowly. And of course, for corporates, they could use these kind of channels via an application or uh, via a, a dashboard in their browser. But it's much easier if we would provide them with an API. Then again, they can automate their processes by connecting that to the API, and then the application would trigger uh, the creation of payment requests. And uh, I have a video which is sharing how DHL is using this application during the COVID-19 uh, uh, crisis that we are in. So this video is coming up. So again, a use case uh, which is uh, showcasing the power of APIs. And uh, just to close my uh, talk a bit, it's also showing that we as a bank are learning a lot in, uh, in a very short time. If I look back at the InnoPay report of January 2019, uh, I could show that we had a nice developer portal with a nice uh, experience. Uh, and having only the Tiki API as a product in, this was the current uh, rating of uh, InnoPay in what the experience uh, was, but also what the functional scope of our products was. If I look one year uh, later, by offering more APIs and improving our developer portal with a second version with uh, automated uh, uh, doc ops procedures and a lot of uh, improvements for how developers can uh, build and use our APIs, we've made a big step on both the functional scope and the developer experience. And towards the year 2021, 2023, uh, we're aiming to, uh, of course, uh, go higher on both uh, angles. One other thing uh, I would like to ask for you is, uh, we are very proud on the journey that we are at and also on our developer portal. Um, and that's also uh, being honored with a nomination by the Developer Portal Awards. So if you would like to help us, uh, go to devportalawards.org. And until the 5th of November, you can still nominate us as one of the, uh, the big examples and see which products uh, we are offering. And I'm looking forward to, to, uh, to your vote. Yeah, uh, thanks for, for your attention. And... Um, yeah, uh, if there are any questions, here's my uh, my information. I'm looking forward uh, to have uh, talks uh, with you. That's back over to me. Fantastic and very brave of you to share a video. It all went smoothly. I know you can't see. Absolutely brilliant. Um, we haven't got any questions. What we have is a lot of people sitting in from around the world. So you'll be pleased to know that um, you have the people in Florida um, listening to what you have to say. So fabulous insight. I would like to thank you for joining us at API Day and encourage everybody to uh, listen to that again. Uh, it will be available online. Thank you very, very, very much. Now